Hello, I'm Arjun from Septium Brain Company. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build beautiful website using a software called which you see is what you get via Builder. Normally, people tend to use Adobe Dreamweaver or similar softwares when they have to build their own websites. But for beginners, I really don't recommend them. Beginners require something simpler, something less pricey than Adobe Dreamweaver. And that's why I decided to present you this software called which you see is what you get via Builder. It is simple, easy to use, and less pricey while we compare it with the Adobe Dreamweaver. It is actually developed by Pablo Solutions and you could download it from their official website. I have provided the link below. You can click and download it. Now let's start. First, you have to double click the icon. It will open up the software with a splash screen like this. The Web Builder 11 is the latest version. And make sure you get the latest version. And this is the window where you have to drag and drop the objects. Here the site manager. You can see the pages and structure of your website. You can add new pages if you want. You can arrange them. Remove if you don't want them. And the properties. Properties of the object that you are currently selected. The property of the object that currently selected. Insert menu contains table, horizontal line, page contains breakpoints, view contains all those view tools. For example, zoom in, 100% or that kind of things, range tools, tools kind of normal tools, animation manager, and the usual help menu, as well as the file menu. And it's all those basic functions like new, save. Now let's start building a website. Before we start, first right click and select page properties. In the page properties window, provide an title for your website and I'm gonna give my first website here okay now you can choose extension for your website a wide variety of extension are available and after that you can pick the document type you can select HTML5 or whatever you want and favorites icon and Apple touch icon and here comes the page alignment Page alignment is somewhat important. It shows how you want to land your web page in the browser. There are so many options, but the center horizontally and vertically is not recommended for responsive web de designs. I'll talk about that later, but now we are just going to build a simple website. Okay, I have still seen the center horizontally one option, and there are other options too, like don't publish this page. And here comes the style tab. You can select the background, image, gradient, multicolor, pattern, texture, whatever you want. You can set colors for links. You can choose the default font. Meta tags. Meta tags uh, are really important, especially um, when your website is listed in the Google search result, the meta tags are shown. So it is important. And you can provide keyword if you want. I'm just providing some random keywords here you can type in whatever you want and description this is the description that google shows in a search result so make sure that you provide appropriate description of your website here i'm just choosing a random one and the miscellaneous kind of master frame i'll talk about that later events discuss later now you can range the page width and height just by dragging the ruler bar or by going to the page properties and you can type in the manual page width I just set it to 1024 the normal net pages now I'm gonna put an image here select insert image and drag and drop it will open the selection window now select the logo you can resize if you want and after that go to insert we're going to put another image okay that's it now you can resize if you want you can put the image wherever you want no matter and now we are going to put a text insert text and drag and drop um, 
there's an option to put the usual lower mipsum if you don't want to type anything. Uh, before that, I'm gonna type a title, hello world. Okay, you can resize if you want it. Make it bold, underline it, make it italic, whatever you want. Okay, now you've done. Now you can put other parts of the text. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's a little bit big. I might have to cut this out. Okay. I'm going to put uh, less words. Uh, like 50 will be enough. Okay, 50. Now I'm going to reduce the font size. Uncheck bold. Okay, now I have this. I have copied it. Um, just to show you that you can copy just like any other object. I'm going to give this second post. You can align if you want. Center, left, right. Justify. I've chosen the justify option. You can copy, paste here. I'm going to type third post. You can have as much text, text box if you want. And you can put it more if you want. And here comes the advanced options like layer, timer, article, carousel, all those things are available there. I'll talk about that later. Now we're just going to put a symbol footer. This is not actually a footer. I'm just providing a footer like thing. Uh, you, you can put symbols going to, uh, from the format symbol option. Just tap in whatever. Now let's preview our web page. Before that, I forget to put the menu. There are lots of menu options are available. You can choose the right menu that you want. I've chosen the CSS menu here. And uh, you can or you can design the CSS menu there in the style tab. Uh, we'll discuss about that later. I'm just putting some random thing in the menu like service. I'm not even providing links. We all we will discuss it all about all it all later. Okay, now press OK. Now just preview. I'm gonna choose Mozilla Firefox. You can preview it in any other browsers, no problem. And okay, that's our website. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. And I'll come back again with more videos like this. Thank you.